Andy Murray set up a repeat of last year's classic Olympic final against Juan Martin Del Potro after being forced to battle into the third round of the French Open. The world number one was rarely comfortable against the streaky Slovakian Martin Klizen, but fought back in the fourth set to win 6-7, 6-2, 6-2, 7-6 in a grueling 3 hours and 35 minutes. Del Potro progressed when his opponent Nicolas Almagro retired in the third set with a knee injury. I expected it to be very tough, he goes for huge shots, he can hit winners from anywhere on the court with his forehand, said Murray of Klizen. He comes up with unbelievable power from defensive positions. When he is controlling with his forehand it's very difficult. I didn't want a fifth set but at the end there were some entertaining points, it was a great atmosphere. I try to behave as good as I can but can always improve for sure. Murray said of meeting Del Petro, it will be very tough. Juan Martin plays better than his ranking. He has come back from injuries and had some tough draws this year. He is playing well but has played some good players in early rounds. He will need to improve against the towering Argentinian, although there were again signs that Murray's mojo is returning. While short of his clay form last year, and short of first serves, he held much firmer in the fourth set to clinch it with a lunging volley 7-3 against the very awkward Klizen, world number 50. Murray walked on to the secondary Suzanne Langlin Arena, scene of some previous wobbles, seeking to build on the promising last two sets of his first round against Andrei Kuznetsov, when some of his familiar mojo and movement and seemed to be returning. But against an unpredictable and flashy opponent there was not much early sign. While Klizen made plenty of mistakes he also hit more than a share of bliss string winners, while neither player was at ease with himself. Klizen constantly moaned and puffed his cheeks while Murray appeared to tell his bench that he was so worried about his movement he could not hit the ball properly. It also looked like he was unhappy, not for the first time at this venue, with the sliding camera on its pulley. Yet the 31-year-old Scott appeared to be moving up a gear as he went into the tee break. Having recovered the early break he conceded at 4-5. All through the first set his returns could not take advantage of Klizen's erratic serving, and when it came to the tee break he let the Slovakian ahead and sealed its outcome with a double fault at 3-5. But Murray's wider repertoire was likely to take its toll on the attack-minded Klizen, and after he broke for 3-2 in the second he settled into the match, rather like he did at the start of the third set in his opener. Adjusting his return position did the trick along with stepping up his second serve, and the calmer Murray cruised to a two sets to one lead. However, Klizen was not finished and came out in the fourth with a strategy to torture his opponent with drop shots. He broke early for 2-0 and then Murray somehow put an unmissable backhand volley in the net on breakpoint to wipe it out immediately. There were not many signs of any calf injury, as he reverted more to pounding away and induced more and more frustration in the Scott whose language occasionally turned the air blue. From 2 to 5 Murray pulled it back on serve when Klizen made a horrendous overhead error on breakpoint at 3 to 5. He looked set to serve for the match at 6-5 but missed his two breakpoints, one of them when he was all over the net with his opponent stranded but somehow lobbing him on the half volley, 